What's good, you guys? It's your girl Cutie, and I'm back with another video. Y'all, we are going to talk about Candy and Todd real quick. Y'all, some mess has just surfaced, and I said, baby, I am not about to get on here without telling y'all the tea. I said, I'm not going to do a whole live, girl, because it's so much to uncover. So I wanted to come on here real quick, you guys, and do a little yeah with Candy and Todd, okay? Now, y'all, listen to this. Y'all gonna have to, first of all, if you are not subscribed to Todd's YouTube channel, y'all need to go over there and be subscribed to Todd's YouTube channel, okay? They got a lot going on, and Todd is throwing a lot of shade, okay? Now, Candy, blink twice if you need help now, because Todd is out of control, in my opinion. Now, have y'all been watching their YouTube channel? Child, Todd is over there speaking on Candy's body count and all of this other stuff, girl, saying all types of things that are just disrespectful, okay? Now, we should have been a regular conversation, with him and candy in private he then goes on to say candy we already know about you you're just nasty okay that was his exact words okay and then candy says as far as body count is concerned candy says she does not count women okay so then todd proceeds to say candy is just on both sides running up the numbers on the body count okay now you guys let me let me just be clear okay now todd do you need views that bad Okay, because Todd be out here trying to low-key embarrass Candy. He even made a comment and said, when I first moved in, this is this is his words now, okay? This, these ain't my words. This is Todd's words, all right? He even goes on to say, Candy, Todd is way out of order now, sis, okay? I would have got on his case then and there when he's saying all of these things because, you know, in my opinion, you guys, I feel like Todd says what he has to say and then he thinks that Candy is not going to say anything and when she don't say anything, he continues to go for the kill, okay? Plus, he did it on live and in front of her friends. Now, I'm not really understanding what that is about with Todd and them, baby. I don't understand why he feel like he needs to do this and that in the third. okay i'm not quite sure what's going on with that but it is what it is okay um also let's see let me put something else up here for y'all to look at this presentable child got to be careful now some folks believe this is a fake or a skit little situation but i think todd wants candy to divorce him first so that he can get that alimony okay because hell he's already running with the narrative that candy is a thought in my humble opinion and i love candy okay i'm a candy fan so todd you better simmer down okay candy don't let that man keep doing that y'all need to have a sit down because he loved it so much when he said when he married it okay so i don't know what the problem is now so what's with you know acting brand new all right so anyway this could be a possible way of targeting like i said youtube views but who knows candy is a catch in my opinion and the alleged breadwinner as well so todd no sir you're gonna have to know we don't need you to do that okay now y'all know i told y'all the other day that todd was doing entirely too much because i found myself sitting down girl and watching one of his shows and i was like uh-uh he doing too much and candy looked like when it comes to Todd, her husband, it looks like she just let him get away with certain things and stuff like that. And I get it. It's your husband. You love your husband. That's your man. Da, 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 da. But some things he don't need to be sitting up there saying. That's just my humble opinion, okay? Now, we all know that Candy is a little bit, you know, she she's a little bit out of the box. And that's okay. That's her prerogative, baby. Let her do what she wants to do, honey, okay? So, anyway, and let's not pretend that Todd didn't stumble on a come up when he caught Candy. Candy, okay, because she said on an interview that her hardest year of marriage with Todd, with Todd, excuse me, was actually the first year, okay? And I did like them together until uh, Todd got on here, you know, starting to get besides himself and stuff. Y'all know they must, you know, um, they must have a little stuff going on behind the scenes. Now, I hate to say that about married people because, like I said, I loved them together once uh, before Todd started all this um, hoopla, you know, this yapping, okay? I prefer him quiet like he was at first. But anyway, y'all know that, you know, Todd and Candy met uh, when Todd worked in production on Real Housewives of Atlanta. And allegedly, Candy told him, okay, well, you know, we ain't supposed to be working together, uh, going together because we work together and they don't allow that on the show. So you quit your job. 
all right, allegedly. And uh, also, allegedly, Todd was already in a relationship before him and Candy made it official, okay? So he was kind of messing around with Candy, allegedly, and Todd had had another girlfriend, okay? And he left her for Candy, allegedly. But y'all know Candy said that Todd could handle his own before her as if he had such bu uh, buku amounts of money. Compared to you, Candy, I don't think that's true. That's just my opinion. Now, I hope Candy was smart enough to have a prenup. I can't really necessarily remember if she did have a prenup, but I do feel, I hope she's smart enough. And I think that Candy probably did, okay? Because a lot of these men are opportunists. And I feel like you can tell by how Todd is acting. Todd just, to me, he seems like he just ready for, for a get out. He, I feel like Todd just ready to get out of the situation. He probably like, you know what? I'm just tired. I don't want to, you know, divorce her. I want her to get rid of me so that I can get that. You know, whatever the situation may be, honey, you never know what these men, like I say, a lot of them are opportunists, okay? Mary J. Blige, ex-husband, okay? Let's think of all these women that's paying these men, Wendy Williams, okay? Girl, it's a mess, but they are such a, they look like a happy family, you know? But girl, them be the ones, y'all. This is just so cute. And then it was allegations of Todd when they first had their daughter. Todd was allegedly saying that he did not have any type of um, a connection with the daughter. And so when Candy first was kind of, you know, with Todd, when the baby was first born, you know, Todd was kind of like leaving her, you know, with the baby. He at one point, it was a situation allegedly where he was out at the club. He didn't come back in until the wee hours of the morning. OK, and I feel like two kids in and nine years, nine, ten years in, I just feel like that's a little bit too late to be acting up. That's a little bit too late in the game to be acting up. OK, but. I hope that all these rumors that's going around about Todd and Candy, you know, y'all been hearing them that they allegedly broke up or they're allegedly living separate lives and living in separate homes. I hope that it's all just a, I don't know, just a rumor. Okay. Because regardless of the fact, I do want to see Candy happy and it seems like Todd makes Candy happy, you know, so I'm all for it, you know. But anyway, you guys, y'all going to have to let your girl know what y'all think, because this situation is a very sticky situation. You know, we can't say yay or nay with certain situations, you guys, because we really just don't know. You know what I'm saying? We really just don't know what's going on or yada, 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 hoopla, whatever. But like I said before, you guys, I just hope that they can work it out. I don't feel like Candy is the type of person to be putting out her business. I think that Candy is the type of person that she'll be like, you know what? Let's just keep it quiet. I don't want nobody knowing our business. I don't want nobody to know X, Y, and Z. Y'all know Candy is very private with a lot of her stuff. And plus, before she even was with Todd, y'all remember that her ex, AJ, he unfortunately passed away. You know what I'm saying? So Candy was already going through a lot um, with that situation, and y'all know sometimes it takes people a lot to, you know what I'm saying, um, get over a loss like that, y'all. You know what I'm saying? Not saying she not over the loss, not saying she was in a rush to get over the loss. I'm not saying nothing like that, but you know, things like that, you know, are really hard on women when they miss and lose someone that they love. And it kind of seemed like a little rebound situation. I'm not quite sure. And that's just my opinion. I'm not quite sure how long after the man's passing that Candy, you know, did uh, date Todd or that Candy did, you know, her and Todd got together, but you know, it is what it is. And child allegedly, uh, Phaedra was the one that was trying to push Todd up on Candy because she felt like Todd was a good, um, you know, fit for Candy or whatever. So when they was doing the Real Housewives of Atlanta, I, get, I think it was that Africa trip or something, girl, when they met or whatever, then, you know, they was hanging out and doing their little thing. So to me, y'all, it looks like they going strong. I mean, sometimes Candy may, sometimes it seems like she be putting on, you know, it seems like she does put on for the camera. And I do feel like with Todd, Todd, maybe you just need to stay where you at because Todd, you know, that face is kind of getting wide, you know. And I know you're trying to have this and that for yourself. And you trying to, girl, he trying to have all type of things happen for himself. And Candy just like, look, I know you want me to do this and do that for you and help you out. But, you know, I got to I gotta make sure my dreams are coming true too. You know what I'm saying? I got to do this and do that because I guess Todd trying to get in the movie industry or whatever the hell he's trying to do. And Candy like, you know, I support you, babe, or whatever. But he want Candy to produce some of his movies or something like that, child. And I guess Candy... 
she like, well, you know, I really don't have the time to do that right now. Cause Todd know he can't do much without Candy. Let's just be honest. I know Candy love her man. And I know she love her husband and respect her husband. But honey, I mean, you gonna you gonna be in your feelings. We're gonna look past the love. We're gonna see the real deal, baby. This man seemed to me like an opportunity, uh opportunity, excuse me. That's my humble opinion. Okay. Um, but hey, it is what it is now. Okay. I'm not trying to pass judgment because like I said, they look like they're a happy couple. So a lot of these things that I've said, you guys, they are, they should be taken as, you know, my opinion. Okay. I'm not saying these are facts. Of course, we want to follow the fair use laws, you guys. So we don't want to, we're going to say everything is alleged. Okay. But I'm going to just tell y'all candy is the hot ticket, honey. Candy is the, the, okay, I'm just saying, Todd, just, you better play your cards right, okay? Anyway, you guys, y'all let me know what y'all think, girl, what y'all think it is. Do y'all think that they're about to break up and divorce or whatever? Or do y'all think those rumors are just that rumors, okay? So anyway, make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Let your girl know what you think, and I will see you guys in the next one.